Mark White here with Manhattan Fire Department, uh, Battalion Chief at Manhattan Fire. This is our new hazmat uh, truck that's going to replace our current hazmat truck, which is uh, a little bit older, uh, doesn't hold quite as much equipment, and this new truck gives us a lot of capabilities, new technology uh, that will really enhance our response capabilities. So walking down the side of the truck, we obviously only did a three three door cab on this, uh, one door on this side, two doors on the other side. So the entire back, which we'll get to here in a little bit, is a research area. Um, we set that up so we could isolate, have our research guys focusing on, on what their needs are and uh, not be interrupted by others coming into that area. We also on the exterior of the truck have a uh, weather station built right in to feed real time data for plume modeling inside the truck. We also have on the exterior, we have a computer monitor <clears throat> that the thought is we can hook our drones into and we can have real time feed of the scene uh, with people out here being able to watch the scene that we are responding to that we're taking care of with uh, the drones that we have or to do briefings. All this system is tied to the research area. So whoever's in the research can feed data out to this monitor, uh, several different monitors in the truck. So we can do briefings, we can do uh, different different things at different parts of the truck. So going, going alongside the truck, we have more, uh, just, just extra storage. This is kind of what we had designed also as a workstation along here. We also have inputs and outputs down here. So if somebody wanted to do a briefing with the TV, we have the capabilities to feed it into the system uh, from right here. External individuals come to the same scene that we are. We can feed that data, their computer right into our system and we can uh, analyze their information they have also. More storage going along here. <clears throat> uh, again, we built this truck for a lot of storage, a lot of different equipment that we carry for our hazmat response. Multiple shelves, slide out doors. Uh, with the bottle, this is, can also be used to store firefighters gear, the driver's gear that may be on the apparatus. Have a lot of different bottle storage along the truck. Both sides of wheel wells have bottles, bottle storage. Uh, again, another full-size compartment <clears throat> carrying various pieces of equipment, oil dry, things that we need to respond to the uh, respond to hazardous material scene. In this compartment also, the yellow cord is for a light tower that is on top of the truck that deploys uh, with that <clears throat> with that unit. The back compartment, we have a full, full transverse shelf that slides out either way. So if we have our light, larger item benches, decon tents, showers, vacs, we can slide it out either way depending on what's advantageous for the truck. Slide out on the bottom and then we have half slide outs on the top. <clears throat> we have power cords on both sides of the truck to power whatever operations we may need uh, for a decon tent, fans, anything else we may need on, on seat. Both sides of the truck, we also have awnings. They're mounted on the outside of the truck that expand out eight foot. So we are operating in Kansas. It gets hot sometimes. It's supposed to be almost 100 degrees here today. It provides protection and shade from individuals on the scene. They can get out of the sun, get out of the elements. So on the back of the truck, we both we have two capabilities. We have a FLIR uh, camera that has uh, infrared detection capabilities. And we just have the Sidewinder camera that also provides us pictures of the scene. We talked earlier about drones, but this enables us just to have a steady camera feeding real-time data into the system. So this side of the truck is very similar to the other side of the truck we just had. The full transverse tray, half tray, and then slide out on the bottom to carry some of the heavier equipment we have. Uh, it can be accessed here. Anything taller, we can pull from either side. Over wheel wells, two bottles each. We also built, for this truck, we also built one of the capabilities to carry 12 spare bottles. Uh, we're a regional response team, so if we deploy out away from our home, away from our area, we want to be able to be uh, deployable and have all the assets we would need to take care of our personnel on the scene. Also, it could be used for possible fire, uh, fire scenes. It just gives us more options for trucks, or for air bottles. This compartment is where we store the air packs for the trucks, hanging with the slide out so you can grab access packs coming off the truck. So this, we built a walk, walk in and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, again, to get personnel out of the elements, we can keep them in a cool environment contained area. We have the awning on this side also that 
extends out eight foot to provide shelter from the sun. So we come into the walk into part of the truck. We have bench seating on this side, um, air conditioned, heated back here so we can keep our entry team, keep personnel. Again, if it's really hot day, we can keep them cool before we make entry. Underneath the seats, we have storage where we'll keep boots. Uh, so people as they're getting dressed can get their boots out. Both sides of this fold down so people can get equipment that they need out of here. We also on this side, we have more cabinets, more storage, gloves, small items we may need to make an entry. Again, this is all controlled as the entry team, as people are in here, they can grab equipment that is needed for a specific entry. We have a computer monitor in here that is tied to the system. So we can also do briefs. We can do go over site data. All these systems, like I talked earlier, are tied into our camera system. We can hook drones in. Laptops up here in the research area uh, can all be tied, tied into the system to be shown on any monitor. So back behind us here, we have additional storage, monitors, anything that needs to be protected, suits. Again, this will be a full complement in here of different equipment that we can grab on making different entries. Plus with the additional storage in the back, more suits, whatever else we may need to carry in a controlled environment. So in this research area, we obviously wanted to make it conducive to working. Um, we have captain's chairs towards the front of the truck. It's got maybe a little hard to see, but we have three computer monitors. Again, that's tied to the system. So anybody who's tied in can pick different computer screens to do their work and have it broadcast throughout the truck. On the left side, we have the, I talked to her earlier about the weather station and we have the camera controls, both camera controls over there so we can control what we're seeing uh, from this, this spot in here. We have storage both up, down, filing cabinet. We have a printer, so we're able to print off all the forms we may need. And right when you come in the door is a, another cabinet that we can have medical supplies, things like that. All right, so coming down this side of the truck, we're about back to the officer's seat. We want to have the capabilities also for other agencies if we are working on multiple agency uh, response. They can also tie into our system or we can tie into their system with uh, input and output this side of the truck so we're away from each other. Just to say thank you to Pierce for uh, working with us on this project. City of Manhattan, uh, Fire Chief Commission for letting us build the truck. Uh, this will be a great asset, a great benefit to the citizens of Manhattan. Thank you for our tour today.